But just in conclusion, let's go back to uh, your position as, as Chairman of the Trustees of the British and International Federation of Festivals, which last year, I think, celebrated centenary. Um, obviously, uh, you couldn't have been able to celebrate that in the way you had in mind. Well, do you have something in mind to mark that centenary? Oh, yes, we do. We do indeed. A number of our festivals have celebrated the centenary uh, and they've done magnificent things, events, uh, concerts, gala events, uh, and we, we have an annual conference, so we wanted to make that a special uh, event, of course, uh, but that didn't happen. Um, and then we wanted to try and... I, I, I was sort of, We'd always produced books in the past to celebrate uh, uh, milestones. So I thought, oh, a book would be good. And then somebody said to me, let's make a film. And I thought, actually, that's, that's good, that's good. And, and I wasn't sure what to do and how to do it. But then, as we talked more about it, what we decided was, and the film, by the way, it's not going to be an hour and a half, it's not going to be a blockbuster, but it's just a sort of short five, six, seven minute film which tries to show the, leg, well, the, the, the history of the last hundred years, of where we began, of the many, many significant musicians. It started as a music organisation. The significant musicians that uh, we have had as members. Uh, in fact, I think somebody here yesterday said that they had Edward Elgar coming to adjudicate on one occasion. We had musicians of real stature. Um, and then we developed, we moved on, we introduced speech and drama, we introduced dance. So I think we are possibly one of the only organisations uh, that embraces all the disciplines. So our film, to start with, and I say to start with because I have got ideas of other projects, but to start with will be a, a five, six, seven minute film, which will show our history, but will show what that history has turned into and hopefully will lead into where our legacy might be over the next hundred years. So we are hoping that when we are going to launch this film in uh, our conference in, in uh, September this year and I'm hoping that every member and particularly our festivals I think will sit there and will see themselves in what we've captured. Um, it won't necessarily be them as a named festival, but they will go, that's what we do. That's us. Yes, we do that. So I'm hoping that we can capture all of that. Now, bearing in mind there are 250 festivals, there are 250 adjudicators. We are throughout the UK, we are in the Republic of Ireland, we are in Sri Lanka, Hong Kong, Gibraltar. I have no idea how we're going to do that, but at the moment we've got many, many hours um, uh, of performances, many hours of interviews, and we need to hone that down to a short film. Um, and then we'd like to uh, put it into little sections for speech and drama, for music and dance, which hopefully our festivals can then use as a marketing tool for themselves. Because I can walk through a street of a town or a city where wonderful things are happening, not in a, a grand hall like this but in a very small little church hall or a, a community hall and I hear amazing performances and I can walk down the street and I can ask the first 10 people I pass by and they don't know about the festival so I want to try and bring our festivals to the wider public and then I do have a silly idea um, which I'd love to have a documentary about the Federation and about its work and about how it can touch the communities in which they serve and how our festivals can make a difference. And when I see at the moment that performing arts is being downgraded, I, our festivals are probably more important now than they, they have ever been. To young people and to adults as well, for our mature performers, there's nowhere else really for them to go and sing or to play. So it's wonderful for our mature performers, but encouraging our young people, our festivals are vital and we must keep them at the forefront of our communities. So I'm hoping that our film and, uh, and our work there will, will take us forward and continue us for the next hundred years. Well, as you know, 
the Manx Music Festival is 130 years old, so we would endorse everything that you say about continuity, about the importance, about keeping it going. And I wish you every success with that and wish the Federation a very happy 100th birthday. Stephen Roberts, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.